Hey, it's Mr. Johns. Welcome to another episode of Lonely Mountains Downhill. In this episode, I'm going to show you where the first resting spot is. I am on the first mountain, Greater Horn, and the first trail called Widow's Ravine. And so the thing you want to do here is make sure you're on explorer mode, which means no timer, and choose the bike, which I only have one still. And I am going to find this resting spot and then show you what it is all about. So truly a resting spot is a place where you can just stop riding for a few minutes. And of course, what you want to do is find the resting spot on each trail. So there are 20 trails in the game, which means 20 resting spots. And they're all hidden, and they get harder, of course, to find. Uh, this first one is fairly easy. There are a few places that look like they should be a hidden spot, but they're they're not. So, um, on uh, beginner mode with no timer, when you're not in any rush, you can just go ex go off and explore different uh, pathways. Remember that uh, it's also a good opportunity to look for any shortcuts so the game itself is just full of shortcuts you can pretty much just go downhill anywhere just keep in mind that the first bike or two uh, almost have no suspension and you will crash easily even if you just bump into a rock you crash on this bike so uh, you have to be fairly careful and then as you as you accomplish and earn more bikes they have better suspension and uh and you sprint here um, and you can handle bigger drop-offs and bigger jumps and things like that so all right so as you ride just keep an eye out for any trail that looks like it goes off like that one light green goes off into the trees and you see some butterflies there that's another hint and then you'll see a uh, triangle button that says, hey, take a break. So you can push that triangle and you get the very peaceful, tranquil music and the butterflies. And you stretch and relax. So this is what a resting place looks like. And all you do is hit a circle to continue your ride back out of here. And again, if you're not on the timed runs, it doesn't matter. Uh, how long it takes or how long you sit but uh, once you find that you've earned that resting spot for that trail so remember there are 20 trails 20 resting spots and so I'm not gonna cheat and look them up online that's not fun I'm gonna try to find every one myself on beginner mode where I can just search around and do some riding so I know there's not um, another one here so there's no reason for me to find the next uh, or to find anything else so on this trail there's pretty much nothing other than just finishing it and shortcuts of course there's always shortcuts but uh, I am just at this point I could quit but I just want to finish the ride it's good practice and the more you ride the better you get for sure the more you'll be able to slide your bike around make your turns uh, sprint. Once you see this straight away, um, you know you're getting close. And at the end of every trail, you have the same straightaway. That wasn't it, but you'll have the same straightaway and turn. So, and this is it right here. Maybe. It is, yeah. So that same straightaway, same turn, it leads to your tent. And that is the end of the ride. So that's how you find a resting spot in the game, Lonely Mountains Downhill. Hopefully you get a chance to play the game. It's fantastic. Um, for now, Mr. Johns is out.